Hey, this is Adam Waheed. I'm here to roast myself today. This should be easy because I've been getting roasted in the comments for years. This was actually my first day of kindergarten. Oh, I remember Miss She was awful. This kid invented Normcore. Say what you will, but this is Gen Z style right now. I was ahead of the trend. I think it's weird how they lumped all the three kids who smell different in one section. The rest of the class was white. Okay, over here, you're not walking past the mall kiosk photo gallery. This is actually my graduation photo. I know it looks like the examples in the mall, but no, this is real. I wanna congratulate this guy on graduating with his virginity intact. Virginity with honors. Oh, that smile doesn't lie. I was actually the only brown kid in my school, so I, I desegregated my entire school. What you actually can't see in this picture is that there's two tassels on my nipples. That's for all the ESL students. Oh God. This was actually a really big trend. Everyone was getting this haircut for a while. Okay, so I, I didn't start this trend. I was just following it. Uh, I was trying to do music. I was trying to be a rapper. I don't know if you guys heard of the rapper Vince Staples, but this is the rapper Vince works at Staples. This looks like one of those example barbershop photos in a rural area. Number three. Are these like cornrows or braids? I, I guess whichever one doesn't get me canceled. Uh, this was like my first headshot. This is like my acting debut. I thought I was gonna book a lot of work with this with this photo right here. I, I, I never booked an audition. Did you guys pull any photos that don't look like they were on the wall of a barbershop? I look like number four here. I'm airbrushed like I'm in a child's beauty patch. In. This is what happens when you lie about your height on Tinder. This is Kat, she's uh, an influencer, she's 6'9", she's the same height as LeBron James, and I'm the same size as LeBron James' son. You can find the rest of these photos on my OnlyFans. We like to play Big Spoon Cappuccino Spoon. We love to reenact Dirty Dancing, and I get to be baby. This looks like Guest Jeans and Home Depot got together to advertise hardwood floors. So these actually aren't even my own legs, it's another man's legs wearing gray sweats, so his genitals were rubbing on mine. I learned this move on Pornhub. They say being an influencer is all about f***ing yourself off, but I took it to another level. Who had, wh why did I have so many headshots? I'm camouflaged into the background. Here I am on the cover of Boy Magazine. This is somebody explaining NFTs to me. This looks like an ad for a STV clinic on the side of a bus. I call this pose, ask your doctor about Valtrex. This is actually from a video I made where my girlfriend breaks up with me and I don't shave my beard for months. This was the headshot I sent in for a suicide squad. Al Qaeda said they'd keep my resume on file. This is Jihadi Santa Claus. There is no nice list. This guy looks like he slept through 9-11. Imagine this guy trying to go through airport security. Random security check, what? This is ridiculous. Look, if I'm gonna have as much trouble of getting on a plane as I do, I'm allowed to make these jokes because I am Middle Eastern, so you can't cancel me. I identify as Middle Eastern, so you. None of this is making the cut. <laughs> All right, look, I know I used to look terrible. I look like an idiot, but look at me now. Look pretty damn good. Ah, uh, they'll probably be roasting this photo in five years. Guys, be sure to keep roasting me in the comments. Please don't stop. I read everything.